Hi guys, welcome back. Takemaru's in his muscle form now. We're going to duel him again. Just straight into it. Nothing. No build up. King of the Blazing Inferno. So it's Uriah is uh, his second form. Just okay. So I'm going to on Ordeal of the Traveller again. Very cool. Uh, Uriah can destroy spells and traps, right? Was it just set ones? I don't remember that effect. Um, Magneta Bug is probably the way to go. Mm, I went into it second. So I'll go Adhesive Explosive and Ordeal. I'll keep a trap in my hand to make Ordeal better. Gold Start, probably for Uriah. Yep. I can have a read of it now if you want. They give us control back. Oh, Solemn Wishes. Oh, so of course he's playing lots of continuous traps. Right, um, gains a thousand attack for each continuous trap in the graveyard, and you can target one set spell or trap on the field and destroy it. So if we flip up our ordeal before he gets Uriah out, he won't be able to destroy it. So that's good to know. Let's start attacking. It's probably another big defense monster. Well, actually, he just wants to stall until he can get all his continuous traps. Oh! Oh, we might have to come up against Ordeal of our own if we're not careful. Oh, we're going to lose a card to Spirit Reaper. That's that's very funny. <laughs> uh, no, we're not. He has to be attacking. Huh. Yeah, this card successfully attacks directly. It's not just battle damage. Huh. That's news to me. Okay, so we'll have to do DD Warrior Lady to get... Uh, not Warrior Lady. DD Warrior to get through that. Didn't lose too many life points, though. He'll lose more. Oh no, he won't lose any because he's gonna gain 500 from Wishes and then pay that 500. How very economical. Yeah, graceful charity. He had a Uriah in hand! That's a great way of getting more traps. Alright, we can flip up our ordeal. Yeah, it was a monster, well done. Um, is he really planning to attack the Spirit Reaper? Because that's fine. Why did he change it to attack? I guess because he's not scared thanks to Fairy Box. Anti spell. Aha! Strokes on you. I don't have any spells. Um, I think I have to manage a bug just to clear Slate Warrior. Oh. One of them will randomly. Gained life points because he drew off Grace of Charity as well. Okay, is he going to send these to the grave for Uriah? Because that would be really handy. Yay! That's like a 4,000 attack Uriah. Okay. Um, I almost don't want to use Ordeal. Because if I attack into Magneterberg, I'll pop Uriah. Um, Yeah, that that's fine. Yeah. Otherwise, he's just going to attack with Uriah, and the best case scenario, this gets bounced. If he attacks with Uriah, then maybe he misses with that one. I'd rather destroy Uriah than let him walk into a deal, right? Let's just clear it. Get rid of the problem. And there's no fairy box anymore. Fingers crossed. Uh, what are we doing here? Do we just let's just clear Spirit Reaper, and we'll worry about the rest when we come to it. Wall of Revealing Light. Oh, that's a problem. I guess we just have to draw. Um. Uh. We just have to draw the. Uh, what's it called? Our version of Breaker. That's not as good. Bye bye, ordeal. Uh, we're going to lose a card to um, Spirit Reaper now. But we will get adhesive trap pot, uh, adhesive explosive onto the target I was aiming for. So that's good. Why are we losing? 
There's not anything great in our hand that we really care about. Yeah, get rid of magic jammer. Alright, what are we hoping for? That's not bad. I guess I'll just summon a monster and sit on it so that he can't hurt me. If we don't win this time, I'll definitely be adding Remove Trap to the deck. Uh, Remove Trap would be slow here. I can put one of these down. Uh, we have hit a stalemate. That's a good card. Imagine a late game Uriah being very scary. It'll have a, so many attack points. Alright, what do we do here? Magic Arm Shield... Just Does this target? I don't really care to do that. I'm just going to use Rising Energy and the uh, damage step. That's good enough. I think we'll lose some attack points for destroying it in battle though. Xerian Universe, that's got good defense, why not? Uh, why am I not setting negate attack? I don't need the discard anymore. Oh, great. Well he's got his three traps. Maybe he'll maybe he'll deck out. <laughs> oh, why am I thinking of that? Uh I could have used Rising Energy to attack through a while, but it's not great. I'll just hold up, hold on to these. They could be useful later. He's going to have so many life points by the time we can get into him. Oh, here's Uriah. I should have gone to defense position. Oh, uh, I've got uh, Arm Shield. That's going to be useful. Unless he changes everything to attack. Which he... Oh, he's going to destroy it. Obviously. Are we just dead? No. Okay. Ow, wow, 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 200 life points left. <laughs> we have an answer to this? The answer's no. Um, no. <laughs> Can't even set negate attack because we'll just pop it for, completely for free. Um, can't do anything in this position. Morphing Joth, thanks! Yes! Anytime! E every day of the week! Oh, yeah. Okay. Spellbinding Circle, that's our out. <laughs> this is his last Uriah. The other two were in the grave. Machine King. Okay, okay. How do we do this? We just start attacking. I think we managed to bug to get rid of Uriah. Um, and then we start attacking with Spellbinding Circle as insurance. What is he going to do? If he attacks, we to bug last. I can't set Spellbinding Circle to destroy it with Uriah. Still have a way to clear Spirit Reaper. Uh... Like, what if he has a way to destroy Spellbody Circle? I'm gonna lock down Uriah. Then I can't play any more traps. We're managed to bugging Uriah, and then we're gonna use Spellbody Circle to feel safer attacking with only 200 weapons. Oh, that's not good. That's very not good. 
Okay, uh, we're using Spellbinding Circle and Uriah. Obviously, that was the plan all along. <laughs> At least I hope he doesn't have removal for it. What does that do? It's just damage, right? It burns for a thousand every time a spell is activated. Oh, I guess I'm not playing Mystic Plasma Zone then. <laughs> okay. Shame, because I would have liked to. Especially to get over Mystic Swordsman. Got Energy Drain, so protection now. Oh, Uriah can still destroy it. Mm. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Machine King? Tribute summon Machine King and attack over Mystic Swordsman. Fairy Box. We lose to Fairy Box. Ooh. Set Spellbinding Circle and pass. Immediately we activate Spellbinding Circle on Uriah, so he doesn't have an opportunity to destroy it. Let him kill himself with card destruction. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that? That's not a problem. I can't attack. What can I even do? I have to hope he doesn't have it, because if he has it, I'm just dead. Right? I've got no outs to Fairy Box while it's face down. I make him show me Fairy Box and then I destroy it with Hannibal Necromancer when he misses the coin flip. It's the only way this goes down. Or deal. That's pretty bad too. Um, monster. That's a spell. Okay. I can't do anything with this, can I? Um, let's summon Hannibal. It's got nineteen hundred. Summon Hannibal. I'm gonna pop um, the one that stuff me using spells. I'll activate my spell. And I'll set this. Oh, I can't chain to your, uh, your eyes effect. That was a mistake. Okay. So he could win there. He didn't. He could have crashed and then attacked the game with anything else. So here's the plan, right? We're going to attack with Hannibal, and we're going to get it wrong. On purpose. It's probably a spell, so I'm going to guess monster. It is a monster. Uh, fine. It's fine if we get it right. <laughs> now we know he has an answer in hand. So we can go ahead and attack over this. We're going to get monster. It's going to be the marshmallow. It's not. Oh. No problem. With the fact that he has lethal, but he won't see it. AI is not that smart, I guess. Uh, can't do anything with Uriah on the board. Same again, I guess. I think we actually are pushing for deck out at this point. 
I can't have both my monsters get bounced. So if one gets bounced, I have to stop attacking. And the one I'd rather get bounced is Hannibal. So I'll attack Sangan. He definitely has a monster still in his hand. He definitely has Marshmallow. Why did I call it right then? I wanted to call it wrong. <laughs> okay, this puts another monster in his hand. No, 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 it was a strategy. Next health boss is very scary. It's gonna be a monster. No! Uh, we lose. There's no way around it. He summons XL Force, pops that monster at extra game. There's no way he doesn't see that. Bad destruction. Hey, bye bye, XL Force. We've not lost. We have lost, he had another one. What the heck? <laughs> oh, roller coaster. Yeah, we lost that a while back. <laughs> Okay, no problem, no problem. Yep, yep. That's game over. Okay, we're back. I've had a little fiddle with the deck, added these removed traps. Um as well as a cheeky wave motion cannon. If we get stuck behind a spirit reaper and the game ends up going long, maybe we can steal a win that way. Also put in block attack. Notice that Yadraya always has zero defense, so that's a little cheeky way of clearing it. Uh, hopefully that'll be good. Right, let's... Here he is. Okay. I'm feeling paper. Oh, no. Uh, put an extra adhesive explosive into the deck as well, if you can see there. Uh, I think we need all the removal we can get. Attack once you start helping. And I cut the Mystic Plasma Zone. I don't think 500 attack is enough to... Uh, all the times it doesn't work. So, right off the bat... That's a monster we can't clear normally. And so is that. And that's probably not anything enough to worry about. Okay. I'm going to go with Giant Rat. Uh, once um, Slate Warrior's effect hits it, it won't have a huge attack power anyway. So at least Giant Rat will float. Alright. We're immediately in the lead. Oh, that one's not so bad. It's 1600 still. Oh, I should have set my uh, spell. I can't use it because it's on the field. Two, but don't hit. So he has to roll the monster zone that he destroys. So if he rolls a three, we're in trouble. Other than that, there's nothing to worry about. Solemn wishes. I've got. Yeah, I'm going to let him summon Uriah. That seems like a good move. Then. Oh, there's no way that this hits Uriah because he destroys it. There's no point playing it then, right? We just leave it. Tribute summon now? No, we're going to get Didi Warrior Lady from this. Warrior, not Lady. Um, yep. Prepare for the worst. Just don't roll a three now. Oh, four. Okay, bye bye. Oxy get on. <laughs> Okay, I wonder which one of which one he'll keep. He kept the defense monster. Alright, so he attacks. We get our DD warrior. That's uh, the big threat. He didn't normal summon. Yeah, he doesn't have any monsters. It could be a fairy box, and that's just life point damage. Are we going to lose a card from that, right? This is, uh, every time we do battle damage, discard a card. Yeah. So we must have set this before attacking and summon this. 
and then we will lose a mon a card from my hand. Okay, everything under control now. Just need to hope he doesn't draw graceful charity or something to get him out of it. Yeah, more set cards. Uh, fairy box is still a problem, but we don't have to worry about it too much. Changing battle position. Actually, yeah, why not? I mean, I have an out for it anyway. There should be some. I'll worry about it when I've got. Uh, and I don't have any other way of clearing a monster. Hey, <laughs> got a little boost from the machine that leaves on the opponent's field. Okay. No fairy box yet, and no ordeal of the traveller. Well, he might have ordeal of the traveller, but no card in hand. Slate warrior. Yep, did the right thing in tribute summoning. Sangan. Um, I did it now. I could avoid hitting the curse onto Machine King. Is that worth it? Um, no. This is where we can get indirect damage. And I'm sure Machine King powers down, but it's still 1800. You can still attack over a Silent Swordsman. Decide to set that. And, it, yeah. <laughs> We're going to need Curse of Fiend to get over this. I will. Okay. Um, Sangan. Ordeal. I've got to guess his last card. It's probably another monster, right? He'd have summoned it. Unless it's Uriah. Um, good chance it's a trap. Or a spell he didn't want to play right now. There's a lot of traps in his deck. He's a set of trap, right? He's got the zones for it. It might be another copy of Uriah, and he didn't want to attribute the face down. I'm gonna go spell. It is Uriah. Okay! Okay, no problem. He's gonna attribute someone to Uriah now, and everything's in defense. It's kind of <laughs> fortuitous. Yeah, we're gonna have to Sangan for Manny's a bug and then get rid of it. Or, uh, Adhesive Explosive. Alright. Goodbye, Machine King. Um. How much attack has that Uriah got now? 7,000. Oh! Ah, that's perfect. <laughs> they don't have a way to clear Slate Warrior in the same move unless I like tribute summoned uh, Firewing, attacked over, and then tributed Firewing for order to charge. That doesn't sound good, though. <laughs> so let's order to charge. And we're going to set Sang up. Sounds good. Another set card. Magic Jammer. Uh, okay. Yeah. Set my ether bug. Then we'll set Magic Jammer. Now we're safe from card destruction or uh, graceful charity. 
Well, at least he won't be attacking us if we clear his slate warrior. Maybe I should have gone with uh, adhesive explosive. It's a little bit less versatile. Another monster. Oh, it's gonna... That was a good draw then, if it is what I think it is. It could be Spirit Reaper, but I suspect it's Silent Swordsman. That's Spirit Reaper. Okay, gonna need a Manny to bug, and that's why I should have gone for Heated Explosive. I should have kept that in hand as a discard. Oh well. Hmm, another card. There's a TC. That doesn't matter. We're gonna tribute summon. Get rid of this. Uh, what's this even called? Stronghold the Moving Fortress. Oh, I should have set him on. No way, you're your Right. How do we catch this guy out? Really, just need money to bug. I think that's the only card we have left in the deck that does it. Um, I mean, yeah, any equip spell, right? Just equip. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, can we use it when you've got no attack, when it's got no cards in hand? Can't. Oh, what a shame. So I'm going to fire up as soon as he draws. Oh, it passed up your heart! Oh no! Don't read my cards. <laughs> so we're going for another Uriah. Rising energy would work, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, this is really scary now. That's a continuous trap. Some stick swordsman. Because the Uriah will have like 11,000 attack at this point. And sure, I could hit into it, he's explosive, but if he gets into our life points, we might just die. Well, maybe I should have set extra card. If he doesn't hit negate attack with his with Uriah's pop, we can stall a turn and get everything into defense. Did he's uh, XO, of course. Okay. That's so fine. Remove trap. Can't even play it. Deserve. I'll set everything. Can't activate it because of um, uh, spell fragrance. You need to have drawn a trap. You need to tribute face up traps. Not going to be any continuous trap. Ooh, wave motion is a good draw. Not with all these anti spells though. Uh, three face-up continuous trap cards. So, I this might be ordeal of the traveller, and he needs me to attack. So, I'm actually just gonna play it slow. Yeah, yeah. So he can't flip it up. Okay, here comes wave motion cannon. It's good to killing him slightly faster than decking out. <laughs> Uh, that's a good draw as well, and mount to Uriah. Uh, remove traps kind of pointless. Keeps him off of Uriah for a turn, but I actually don't care. Morphing jar. Okay, no negate attack. Hey, you just discarded his Uriah. Went to all the trouble of finding that. Okay, what do we do here? Have a 
burning desire to uh, attack into that morphing jar. Still got no out to um, Spirit Reaper. I mean, I do if I can clear a zone. Uh, but I'm so sure that he has either a fairy box or an ordeal of the traveler. I'm going to make him flip it up, then I can remove trapping. Or maybe he'll pay for a, a wall of revealing light. Fairy box. Okay, that's the worst of the one we could have had. The shimmer means he called it right. Like, so can I... Rising energy in response, that's very funny. <laughs> Uh, let's get rid of the enforcements. <laughs> Alright. Main phase two. We set this so the next turn we can flip it up and destroy Spirit Reaper. Maybe I should have. I've got Negate Attack. Does drop Uriah. Spirit Reaper in attack position. Why? Oh, he wants me to run into it um, and get some value off of his fairy box. <laughs> okay. Um, Stim pack onto Spirit Reaper. Destroy Spirit Reaper. Remove trap on the fairy box. Double cost on and Xarian universe. How much is this? Like, is this lethal if I flip up adhesive explosive? Um, Thirty-four. There. Forty-four. Fifty-six. It is. Do I think that trap is not going to stop me? I think it will. I'm happy to let this go an extra turn. I can fire off um, wave motion. And nothing matters because that is a good trap card. Okay, okay. So he has Uriah if he has Uriah. Um, we're either using the gate attack. Arm shield won't work if he has Uriah. How are we doing this? Doesn't have Uriah yet. Remove trap. Is that how we're doing this? We're setting it and then we're actually doing it next turn with an anti-spell. Oh, everything in defense mode. Why am I? What am I doing? Okay, we're good. 4 turns. You know, we'd have to do much. Remove trap. We're getting rid of reflect slime. And then we Attack in. If any of these get through, we win. It's another reflect slime. My goodness. Not attacking. Main phase two. It's put everything in defense. Doesn't matter that we've got one thing that changes to its own. Um, let's throw this down. I want to keep a trap in hand for our deal. So close. Oh, no breaker. Rah! Gonna destroy our uh, cannon, and we're not going to be close anymore. <laughs> okay, you're going for the attack. That's death. But, um, this is an opportunity to flip a board deal. Please call this right. Oh no! I've just bounced his breaker. That was really bad. I like, I wanted ordeal to be face up so that Uriah couldn't pop it, but in doing so, I have made it so that.
Breaker's gonna pop audio anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big misplay. Um, are we decking out first? That's not good. That's fine. You can lose your breaker to it. The piece of explosive. He hasn't, like, discarded two Uriahs, has he? Am I worried about the nothing? One Uriah, two Uriah. He has discarded two. Okay. So, do we win? Don't have to worry about Uriah anymore, so everything can go to attack. Um, I don't think this is lethal, but we're definitely going for it anyway. a little bit more. One set. It's gonna be Mirror Wall. No, it's not. We're good. What's his hand that he can't play any monsters in defense? And that's it. That's the game. Big props to his morphing jar, discarding two Uriahs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were a bit on the brink in terms of cards in deck. <laughs> uh, but of course, that's not enough. He is still rejuvenating. Yes! Came even younger. Now he's unstoppable. Oh, okay, we'll find out next time. See you guys then. Bye!